All right, good morning, y'all. We are back at them again. I'm uh, at a place I've actually hunted where I'm at right here before, but it's been at least 10 years ago. It's been so long that I thought I was at the wrong road because the trees has grown so much. But we're gonna slip in here. Uh, if I remember correctly, we'll come up on a pretty good bottom down in here and with a black gum edge, that's where I've been seeing a lot of sign at. And uh, there's some fresh sign right here. And so maybe we'll run across a pig in here. We're gonna have a good morning. It's cool. It's like 45 right now, 46. So uh, it's a good lighter knot right there. I may have to take this home. For the fireplace. So let's ease on in here and see if we can locate some pork or a squirrel or a rabbit or a fox or a bobcat or a coyote. <laughs> Let's go get him. Y'all check this. Y'all check this out. Look at the little blooms coming on here already. Springs just right around the corner. I think we got a couple of rootings out here. This is a terrible old rug, but look right here. That was a big old boat. They come through here an awful lot. Beautiful, beautiful place. A lot of water in here. And a whole lot of pig sign. Little bitty hog nose spreading at her. Almost stepped on him. <laughs> kind of in a new place right here. Thick upland pines. Got deep holes all in it. It's the middle of the day. I thought I'd just come check it out. Look at those holes there. It's got a right smart sign out. I kill about an hour right here. Then I'm gonna go, go check out another spot. This is fresh right here. That was either yesterday, last night, yesterday evening, something like that. These pigs may be around here. Yeah. 
All right, I've come into a different area. I'm gonna finish up today at, and uh, I got to wear a pumpkin. Got to wear a pumpkin suit on this one. That's rifle hunting deal. It is destroyed. I picked this one because it's the one of the closest areas to my house in this place. Golly, that's tore up. Look out there. So anyway, we got about three hours till dark. And let's just ease around in here. See if we can find a pig. Let's go. Usually I have a destination when I go into a place that I know, like I'm on, I'm headed somewhere and I have a loop planned. I don't know nothing about this, so what we're gonna do, we got a good wind, we're gonna just walk in the wind. And uh, see now, I came on the road over there, there was a flock of tur excuse me, there was a big flock of turkeys in a food plot. I, they were a long ways off, I don't know if I got them on camera or not. A bunch of them. But, uh, we're walking down an old logging road right here. The woods are fairly open, man. If we could, if we could see some hogs, we might have a chance. It is destroyed. I mean, look at this. Yeah, there are a whole lot of sign. But uh, you can't eat sign. I don't know. I reckon you could boil some of that dirt, but it probably wouldn't be good for you. Let's keep on easing and look. Take our time and enjoy this breezy pre-spring day. I've seen some blooms here and there. The hood of my truck's covered in pollen a while ago. That's bad. But uh, it's a beautiful day. I've seen a snake, a hog nose, uh, spreading at her a while ago. I think the proper name is a hog nose snake. He was little, I almost stepped on him. I'd have killed him, I'd have stepped on him. I, I wouldn't mean to. I took a picture back there with my pocket knife laying in one of the biggest boar tracks I've ever seen. So, we got potential, I think. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna tell you what. We've walked this old logging road here almost a mile now. And it's been like this. It's been like this the entire time. Man, I'm telling you, if we don't, I mean, this, a lot of this is super fresh too. If we don't see a hog this evening, it's cause somebody told them we was coming. I mean, this is destroyed. Beautiful live oak right there out in the middle of nowhere. Boy, that's pretty. I was going to make some dips. It's got some pretty bottoms down there. I was going to make some dips into them, but I'm going to see where this road goes. If I had one of them map thingies on my phone, I could probably look at it, but it ain't near as fun. I'd rather walk. I know I'm old-fashioned. People give me trouble a couple of my friends telling me I need to get that stuff on my phone and I probably will but man that's I've had great success and it's so much fun just trying to figure out what's around the next corner I love it we've made a turn now the wind's kind of at my back blowing to my right but there's a whole lot of sign in here to my left so we're gonna stay on it I've seen nothing but live oaks like that one and water oaks that one there didn't make so there's no disturbance under it and a lot of water oaks out there they didn't make here either but i bet down in that dip probably some chestnuts and white oaks but we'll save that for another day maybe when we get here in the morning time the turkeys got me excited i'm wanting to get on the turkeys in a month or so thinking end of March maybe or maybe the first of April now they've changed the seasons around let's stop yapping and pay attention all right we come up on a flat with a little bit better quality trees on it it's got a lot of red oaks and hickory the 
the red oak leaves there. And got plenty of hogs on. I knew there'd be some in here. Our road took us down to the edge of the swamp here. And it's and it's split. And so we're gonna take the right fork for a minute. Well you always take the right fork, you reckon. But anyway, we took the right fork and uh for the wind, that's why. And there's two white oaks right here. One over there and that one right there. And right there. There's a rub. We ain't gonna walk over there. Man, I'm liking this place here. I wanna get here at the crack of daylight and spend the day back here. Cause we done walked a mile from the truck. Easy walking, easy walking. Alrighty, we had about a mile and a half now. Continuous. <laughs> we ought to see a pig in here. It's early yet. I mean, I expect they're near nocturnal because of the, you know, hunting season's just got over with rifle season, deer hunting. I bet this is going to be hot in the summer and springtime for critters right here. I can't wait. Continuous hog sign. Well, our road has ended at a mile and three quarter. And we still got plenty of hogs on. We're gonna sit on this log right here and just sit here and listen for a little bit and work our way back. Y'all check this out. I'm walking down this road here. Look at the sign. That's not a live oak, that's an old, old chestnut. That's probably the biggest thing I've ever seen in the trunk. That's awful there. Big, beautiful tree. I think it's about, it, it had leaves last year. That's pretty there. Look at all that hog sign. Well, we made us a heck of a long walk today. We walked about three miles this morning in the mud. And then we seen, I seen three deer, y'all didn't see them, but I did. And we uh, didn't see no hog though. But we was in plenty of sign. And then uh, we made a little, about a, not even a mile, maybe a half a mile where we saw a little snake at. So that's three and a half miles. And then we just did four and a quarter. So that's almost eight miles we walked today. And uh, we ain't seen a hog, but we have been like wore out. But that's why they call it hunting. It's been a good day, beautiful day. Look at that. Beat all I ever seen. Lord willing, I'll do this walk again. I think about the crack of daylight will do us the best. But right there is the truck. And I think I'm done. Had some of that. This evening has been the easiest hunt I've had in a long time. Just walking on this road is cool. Might have to come hunt this more and more just for the easy walking. But uh, there's a lot of hogs here. This may be nocturnal. Next time if I come here, Lord with them, I'll go down in that bottom and uh, hunt that edge. And it looks like it's about a two mile edge right there before it gets to that other road over there, to another road. So we'll try it out. But uh, thank y'all for following along. I think this is hunt number seven. And this is the reality of pig hunting. Granted, we, uh, we should have killed two hogs already. And we didn't, but that's how it goes. But uh, you keep stabbing at it. It's fun, that's why they call it hunting. There ain't no corn, there ain't no feeders. It's just out here with 
Pat and John walking. <laughs> Having a good time though, seeing beautiful country. Man, that is destroyed. Look at it. Good gracious. I about knew I was going to see a hog when I started right here. But it's just really getting prime time, but I'm walked out. I'm going to ease up out of here. i got a friend down the road. I'm going to go see him. Got a taxidermy place down there. I actually just met him. He's a good man. And uh, before I head to the house, thank you all for watching. You all always keep the good Lord first. And be thankful for your blessings. Count them. You'll, you'll run out of numbers before you know it. And still have plenty of blessings. Now, see y'all next time.